with over 330 million monthly active users and 500 million daily tweets. Twitter has become one of the most popular platforms for users to voice their opinions and discuss various topics. It is a treasure trove for information that provides multiple insightful perspectives from all around the world. Organizations, government bodies, and companies are constantly using Twitter to gather public opinions towards their product, service, and branding. However, there's just so much information that it will take a lot of time to understand the general sentiment towards the topic. Hence, we created Tweet Polarizer. Using sentiment analysis, Tweet Polarizer can classify bots or tweets as positive or negative sentiments. Sounds exciting? Let us share on how you can do it too. First, you have to obtain your own dataset. For our project, we use Kaggle dataset, which have 1.6 million tweets. Next, we will have to clean the dataset by removing usernames, links, and converting emoticons into a word representation. This is to prevent unnecessary noise from passing through our machine learning models. Next, we split our datasets into three buckets, training, validation, and test set. We will be only training our model using the training set. The validation set is used for evaluation and fine-tuning our hyperparameters. The test set will be used to test the accuracy of a final model fit based on the training data set. And here comes the fun part, training the model. You can explore with various machine learning techniques such as naive base, k-nearest neighbors, and support vector machines. For our experimentations, we decided to utilize variants of the neural network architecture model due to its versatility in dealing with high-dimensional data. From our analysis, we found that the use of a word embedding layer, followed by a bidirectional LSTM layer, yield the best results for our Twitter dataset. LSTM is an artificial recurrent network that takes in account both the sequences as well as the context of the words in the text as information for sentiment classification. By mapping words into vectors of 64 dimensions and running it through the LSTM model, we were able to achieve a credible test accuracy of 83%. With Tweet Polarizer, we can empower organizations to open up the gold mine in the public opinion, sort data at scale, gauge brand reputation, and find out the general sentiment towards a particular topic. Thank you for watching.